hi welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by today i am going to show you how to make a beautiful sunflower and roses cascading bouquet and these bouquets online are so expensive my niece called and she had found one and she asked me if i could please make it for her and the one she found was $280. She knew I could make it for quite a bit less, so she asked me if I would do that for her. And so I am going to walk you step-by-step step how to make one of these yourself for a fraction of the cost. Now, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Now let's get going and let me show you what I did. Now this is everything I purchased to make this bouquet. Some of the things I used, some I didn't. I purchased one of these cascading floral bouquet holders and that I did use. Everything I purchased, I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I have some scissors and some tape measures and my hot glue gun. And now let me show you exactly what florals I did use. I used some of these ranaculus and I bought four of them. I did not end up using all four of them. And these were $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. I purchased bunches of peonies and bunches of my other flowers. I thought the flowers were a better quality and just prettier when they were in the bunches than when they were singular. I paid $25.99 for this bunch of peonies. And one of the things I really liked about this was the color was perfect and the single peonies did not have this exact color. And I love that it came with all the greenery with it. Now, I also purchased this bunch of red roses. And I loved the fact that these red roses, they had different sizes in these red roses and all the beautiful greenery that came with it. And you can see, I also purchased this for $25.99. I absolutely love this. Now they actually had single roses that were very pretty, but they were not the exact color that would match the peonies. And that was important to me because I was trying to match the colors exactly on the picture that she sent me. Now I purchased two bunches of these fall sunflowers. And these fall sunflowers were $12.99 a bunch. And I purchased two bunches of these. I ended up only using one of the bunches. And let me just show you the tag here. So it was $12.99. Now I did not actually purchase these in the fall. I actually purchased these when they first came out. Now here I'm going to show you the ranaculus, the roses, and the peonies. The colors all fit perfectly together. And then I decided to go with these instead of the pips. I decided to go with these. These are in the wedding aisle. And these floral accents... I, I really liked them. They're only $1.99 a piece. I bought seven bunches of these. Now, I did not use all seven, but I bought plenty because I wasn't sure how many I was going to use. And I just really liked the pearlescence of those. Now, what I'm going to do is I have this wine decanter here, and I'm using that to hold my bouquet holder. Now you can see how easily my bouquet holder fits right down inside of that. You will want something to just help you hold your bouquet. Now I also, for tools, will use the wire cutters because you're going to need your wire cutters to cut apart these bushes. Now the one thing with getting the flowers in these bunches is the thickness of each of these flower stems is huge. This is the only part that was a little difficult in making this bouquet was how thick these stems were. So the single flowers were pretty and they did have smaller stems so they would definitely be easier to use but they just weren't as pretty in my opinion. 
So, but these stems are huge. We're going to find the flower that we're going to want to hang down the absolute longest, and we're going to cut that first. And now I'm just measuring to make sure about how long that's going to be. Because that will be the, our longest flower, all the rest of them I know are not going to need to be that long. When we put the rest of them in, that will be the top portion of our flower or the main portion sticking out at us in the center. We'll only need a couple inches at most of our stems. We won't need a really long stem like that first one. So I'm going to cut some of these off. Now I'm going to make them a little bit longer than what I probably need because I can always cut them shorter. Don't cut them too short to begin with because you can't add anything to them, but you can always make them shorter. And now I'm going to cut off a lot of this greenery because this greenery is absolutely perfect. It's beautiful. I love the color. I love the texture of this greenery. It's just great. So I'm going to go ahead and cut several of these greenery parts off as well. And they've done the hard work of picking out what greenery is going to go best with these florals already. So I don't have to try and figure out what greenery I want to go with everything at the store. And I don't have to buy several bunches of greenery because it's all right here. All I'm doing now is pulling it apart and cutting it apart. And I'm trying to make sure that the greenery stays in nice long stems because I'm not sure exactly where it's all going to be used in our bouquet yet, which ones will be hanging down and which ones will be along the back. So I'm going to make them as long as I can. And you can see I'm just totally dissecting this uh, bunch of florals here. And you can see how I just kind of pulled this one right apart from the others. And now I'm just going to cut this wire. And we're just going to keep this up until we have all the greenery separated here. Now we're also going to use the majority of the leaves that are on this as well. And when we're paying this much for all this, we are going to make sure that we use the majority of everything that's in this bunch. Now you can see here how this is just wrapped with floral tape. You can see we can just pull that and pull that right out of there. And so that's just another part that we will use. Now I'm going to just set the rest of those off to the side for a minute. And let me gather up all of our greenery here and get all of our greenery set in a nice bunch here. And you can see all this great greenery. We have all different types of textures and everything, and it's all broken apart. And that's what we want. We, we want to kind of get a lot of this broken apart and taken apart now so that once we start putting our bouquet together, we don't have to be stopping and starting doing this part at that point. Once we start doing that, we want to just work on putting everything together. Now you can see where all this comes together right here. That's not going to fit into our bouquet holder. So we're going to cut these apart even more. We're going to take off these leaves. Now make sure you keep those because we will still use those. And then we're going to cut off the sideways stem. And now if you look here at the bottom of the stem, it's still really wide and thick with all those little pieces on it. So we're going to cut all that off so that we'll just have a nice straight stem afterwards. And now you can see that will fit easily into our bouquet holder. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one, pulling those leaves off and then cutting this sideways the little branch off.
I actually have some sharper wire cutters. I don't know why I'm using this one that is getting really old and dull. I'm having to kind of struggle with it here, but it's getting the job done, just not as fast as what I would have liked. Now, don't forget to take off all your price tags. And now we have a bunch of our florals in a pile. We have, we're putting our greenery in a pile. And now even these leaves that we just pulled off, you can see these here. We are going to end up using all these as well. And you can see we just pulled those off. So they still have their little caps on the bottom of them, which can fit right back on the branch again. So we're going to take all these single leaves and just set those in a pile as well and move on to our rose bunch. And now we're going to go ahead and cut apart a few of these roses so that they too will be all ready for us. And these roses are so beautiful. Like I said, you can buy single roses there and they are very beautiful as well. They just weren't exactly the color that I needed for the color of the picture that she had sent me. And these ones fit so perfectly with the peonies that it just made sense to go ahead and buy this whole bunch of roses. And then we'll go ahead and use a lot of this greenery as well. And again, we're just cutting them apart. I'm cutting them, you know, about four inch lengths or so, just giving us a nice amount of room to be able to work with. And I will cut them shorter as I need them in a few minutes as we're putting our bouquets together. Now you can see here's all of our roses and our peonies. And then we have our ranaculus still down here on the table right here. And all these now just are so complementary to each other as far as their coloring goes. And now we're going to go ahead and tear apart some of these sunflowers. Now, the leaves on the sunflowers are a very light color compared to the deep, rich colors of the leaves of our peonies and our roses. So even though I'm going to use some of these leaves in the main portion of the bouquet, I'm also not going to push all these leaves up to the top and make sure that they're all on there. And again, we're just cutting apart all these sunflowers so that they'll be all set and ready for us. And the other thing I really like about buying the bunch of sunflowers instead of buying individual ones is there's a multitude of sizes when you buy it like this. The other thing with if I would have purchased the single stem roses, which would have had a smaller stem and so would have made it so much easier to fit into our bouquet holder, well, that would have been easier. The single roses were also all the same size. So these are really nice because I get some roses that are nice and big and some that are medium and some that are small. And the same thing with these sunflowers. I have different size sunflowers on there. And now we're ready to go ahead and start actually putting our bouquet together. Now that everything is pulled apart and ready to use, now the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to take and insert this peony bud right in the bottom of our bouquet holder. And you can see it was so thick that I kind of have to really press to get that in there. And now we're just going to bring our decanter kind of towards the edge of our table because we want that peony to kind of hang off from the table. And now I'm just going to cut this a little bit shorter and to make sure that the kind of where it's a little bit more knobby at the end there, that I went ahead and cut that portion off. 
Now here you can see again, I needed to pull that leaf out because I need this to fit in and I need this to be as thin as possible and having any of those leaves there are going to hinder it when you try and put it in. Now we're going to go ahead and put a couple more of these peonies into our bouquet holder. And as we're making this, we want we want our bouquet to have a nice rounded uh, look to it coming out. We don't want it to be flat in the front. We want it to be nice and rounded. So I'm going to leave a couple inches on this peony. And then we're going to go ahead and poke this here in the front. And you can see how that's still standing out a ways because we don't want that we don't want that flat up against our bouquet holder. We want about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of our stem actually going into our bouquet holder and then the rest will be sticking out. Now we're going to be putting glue on each of our pieces as we poke it in to our bouquet holder because we do not want any of this to fall out. Now we're going to add one here over on the side just a little bit. Now this is still on the top front part of our bouquet holder, but it's to the side of the other peony we just put in. And you can see I have to press just a little bit harder to get these in. Now if you have thin stemmed flowers, they are going to just slip in there so easy and you're not going to have to worry about kind of pressing hard to get those into the styrofoam. That is strictly just because these are such thick stems to these florals. Now here's our first three and you can kind of see we kind of have kind of something of a triangle going here. We're going to add in one of these ranunculus. And that will kind of give us a lopsided triangle of our peonies and our ranunculus here in the top portion of our bouquet. You can see how much thinner this stem is on this ranunculus. This will just slide in there so easily. I'm still putting glue on it. And I'm just going to poke that in there just a little ways, just like that. And there's the main foundation for our bouquet. And now that we have those in, now we're going to go ahead and start adding in a few of these sunflowers. Now you can see that these green leaves are a lot lighter and they're thinner. They're almost see-through. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this to about the length that I'm going to need. And I'm going to set that, the bottom portion, off to the side. Now we're going to still keep that and we're going to still use those leaves that we're setting off to the side. We're just not going to use them on this main portion of our bouquet. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those leaves in a few minutes as we kind of get the rest of our bouquet done here. Now you can see the leaves that are on this sunflower that are still on here. I'm leaving those on. And you can see that I first went and held this against our our bouquet holder just to kind of see where I wanted it to go and about how long I needed our stem. Now right about here is where I'm going to want this to go and I'm just holding the bottom of our stem of the sunflowers with my other hand while well, I just kind of look and see if that's about where I want it and I'm thinking that is. I'm liking this spot. This is helping me measure about how long I need the stem as well. Whether it's really long, I need to cut a little bit more off like what I just did. And now I feel pretty confident with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put our glue on here. And we can go ahead and glue this right in. 
Now, you may be wondering why I'm actually gluing each and every little flower that we're putting in, and that is because on your bouquet, the peonies and some of the roses, those are going to be very heavy flowers, and especially with the, the thickness of the stem on those, and you do not want a bride walking down the aisle having some of her flowers falling out of her bouquet. And so it's just better to go ahead and to hot glue these as you're doing it to make sure these are all going to stay in place exactly where you want them to be. I'm checking to see if I like where I'm placing it as well as the length of our stem and if there will be enough to fit into our bouquet holder or if there's going to be too much and then I'm cutting it off to the appropriate size just like what you saw me do here. And again just a touch of hot glue on there and tucking that right in there. Now don't worry if some of our flowers are getting a little squished as we're doing this. Once we have our bouquet completely done, then we'll go back through and kind of fluff our petals and make sure everything's where it needs to be. And now we're going to come over and kind of fit in a sunflower on this other side. And we're just kind of filling in these areas in between our peonies and our ranunculus that kind of gave us our triangle here on the top of our bouquet. And now again, we just cut off those bottom leaves. And we're going to hold this up there one more time and see about the length that we need our stem to be. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that off to the appropriate length once again. And let me kind of turn this sideways so I can show you what I mean. See how that goes way beyond right there? We only need like maybe a half an inch at most to fit into our bouquet holder itself. And you can see even right here, it's still sticking out beyond the back of our bouquet holder. So again, we can cut this down one more time. And that's what I'm doing every time you see me holding a floral up. That is what I'm doing. I'm holding it to see about where I want the floral to come on the front of our bouquet. And then how long the stem is and about where it's sticking out the back. So I know if it's going to be the appropriate length or if it needs to be cut. And now that we have that about the right size, I can just go ahead and pop that right in there. And now you can see how our flowers are not flat, but they're nice and rounded here on the top. We are just creating a nice rounded look to our bouquet. You don't want everything shoved so far in that it looks very flat. Now we're gonna find us another sunflower here and again we're pulling off these bottom leaves and don't worry if you can't get them off you can always just cut those off when you're cutting that stem now we're going to take this one and we're going to bring this one coming down right by our peony bud that we are using for the length of our cascade And the great thing about using silk flowers like this is we can kind of bend the wire of our flowers if we need to tilt it up a little bit, or we can tilt it back the other way by just bending that stem. And that's one really nice thing about being able to do your silk florals compared to doing fresh florals. I can kind of measure about how long I want that to be stuck in and now when I do these ones that hang down I like them to go up into my foam just a little bit more than the other ones because these are going to have gravity constantly pulling on them so I'm giving this one a nice dose 
of our hot glue to make sure when I put this one in there, this one is not going to come out at all. And you can see I'm just kind of tweaking with the direction that these flowers are going down here by just bending that wire a little bit. Our bouquet is already coming along really nicely. And I'm checking if I add our rose in over here, am I going to be staying within our width? Now, in the end, mine turns out to be about an inch longer and I think a half an inch wider than what their measurements were. So mine is just a tad bit over what what theirs were but it was close and I could have gone ahead and tightened that up a little bit more if I wanted to but I really liked the way it looked so I left it at that now here I'm just pushing this rose in now on the website where my niece saw a bouquet that looked just like this or very very similar to this they called theirs a roses and sunflower bouquet and it looked very similar to this. I did add in a few peonies and ranunculus in mine, and it looked like they had a few other flowers in theirs, but that's what they called theirs. And again, we're going to add another one of these sunflowers into the cascading part. Now, don't worry, I know that it's looking like why am I getting so many sunflowers all in a bunch cascading down right there? Don't worry, we're still going to add in some more of our red flowers in there. We're going to cut off this part that's a little bit long and add a little more of our hot glue and that should make it all set so we can just go ahead and poke this right up on in here. And again, these smaller stems are much easier to just poke right on up into our bouquet holder. And that's looking really good just like that. And now I'm going to add in a couple of these smaller sunflowers up here on the top. And this first one's going to kind of give us a direction as far as the height on the top portion. We're going to go ahead and add these in here. And now that one is in and I'm liking the way this is looking. We're getting some height up there. We have our length by our lowest peony, which is our red one hanging down. We're going to add a couple more of our sunflowers up there because we kind of like that staying up there at a peak. Now, again, we're just adding some hot glue on the end of our stem. And notice that this stem is pretty long because we need that height up there now. So we're having a much longer stem up there. And now when you poke it in, if you need to tweak it at all, you can. That hot glue, you have a couple seconds with it, so do any tweaking that you need to. Now we're going to go ahead and add in one of these roses down here on the bottom right. Now you can see we just are going to go ahead and add in this beautiful rose right here on the side. And this is going to be another one of the, our cascading flowers. So we're pointing it down and pushing it up into the bottom of our our bouquet holder. Now we're going to add a rose up here at the top. Now this one does not have to be real long because this is going to be at the top here. So we only need to make this, you know, maybe a couple inches at most as far as our stem length goes. And you can see I just kind of set that in there to show you that we don't need anything really long for this one. And I'm thinking right there will be a perfect spot. And I'm just double checking the length. 
And you can see I cut that even shorter. So that's maybe an inch and a half long is all we need for that stem portion of that. And now we're going to go ahead and just kind of tuck that right in. Now, that one's one of our thicker stems. Now you can kind of really see how our bouquet is really starting to take shape here. And we're getting ready to start adding the first of our greenery in. And we're going to cut some of this apart. And now we want to use some of our longest greenery to bring this down right along where our peony bud is. That will be our length. And you can see I can add this right in here on the side, right next to our peony. And again, I'm measuring that back. When I hold that up there, I'm holding to see if I like it in that spot. I'm also holding it to see how long I need it or how much I need to cut off from it. And then again, we're just going to go and put that hot glue on it. And now it helps for these, if we just kind of pick our bouquet up and then we can go ahead and put that in, making sure that we're not putting it too far in or not far enough in. Now you'll see me picking the bouquet up a lot to be able to put in these hanging pieces of greenery because it's much easier to do when you're actually holding the bouquet than when it's sitting on the table for those particular pieces. Now here's a little bit shorter piece of greenery. We're gonna go ahead and glue that one up as well. And now we're gonna add that to this other side. Now we are trying to keep things kind of even but we don't want everything matchy matchy on each side. So you can see that one because I have that leaf hanging down from the peony. This new piece of greenery we just added in, I made that one a little bit shorter over there. Now we're going to take another one of our sunflowers and we're going to just add that in here on our side just to add and break up that color because we have two red florals right there our rose on top and this nice huge peony here down below it so we're going to use this little bit of a sunflower and we are going to go ahead and tuck that right in between those two red flowers and that's going to help to round out that side of our bouquet And we're just tucking that right inside there. And now if you look at it from the side, you'll see how that just kind of adds a finishing touch right there to that side as far as the flowers go over there. We'll still add in some greenery. Now you can see I just have this stem, this bunch of stems. We need to keep all that. We are going to reuse all of that. And here's one of the ways we do that. You can see this is one of the leaves I pulled off at the beginning. I just put that leaf back on the stem of the sunflower. And this is one of the leaves that were on, I think it was on the peony bush. And now to make sure that this leaf stays on the stem, this little stem piece, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue the sleeve right on here. That's why I, even if I'm not making a regular bouquet, I never throw away the, the stick portion of my bouquets. It doesn't matter if they're expensive ones or inexpensive ones. I always keep those because there's always 101 things that you can do with those. Now I'm going to add in this green leaf in the back here. That's going to give us some height and some width. And again, I'm going to 
just add a touch of our hot glue to the bottom portion of the stem. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck that right in here. And I'm loving that. That is looking great. I love that right up there. And that is really adding our height. Now we can look for some more of these green leaves and we're just going to go ahead and pull apart one of these stems from the others again. Now we're going to cut the stem off. Just using our wire cutters, we'll cut that right there. And now once again, we're going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the very tip of this little wired stem and we're going to go ahead and add our floral leaves right on top of it and give that just a second to dry and you can see what a rich and beautiful color these leaves are i'm absolutely loving the color of these leaves I never ever throw away just single leaves, even if they just fall or break off from a bunch of florals that I'm doing. I always keep an extra box for just single leaves around because you can always go ahead and hot glue them onto a little stick like this and use them in so many different, um, different floral decors. So don't ever think that just because a leaf or a flower broke off that you can't reuse it. You definitely can. Now you can see how we have some height and that's giving us some width over there on that side. And our peony hanging down low in the front with that leaf that goes with that. That is giving us our length. And so we're going to go ahead and add in another one of these leaves over to our other side to just kind of even out and give us kind of that cross shape from the top to the bottom and from one side to the other. And here we are once again. I know you're probably getting sick of me telling you how we just are adding some hot glue before we add that leaf on. Then I just take my finger and any glue that's pulled up right there, I just kind of run it around the my finger just to smooth that out so nobody will even really notice that that leaf didn't belong on that stem to begin with. And now we can just cut that stem down just a little bit. And now let me hold that up there and see how that fits. And I'm liking that, so we can go ahead and hot glue the bottom of this. And now we're all set, and we can just kind of tuck this in the side here. And now you can see that right there, and you can really kind of get a little bit more of a feel for how this is giving us our shape from almost like arm to arm and head to foot as far as like your cross shape. That is our basic framework for doing our cascading bouquet here. You can see how important it is to have something to just be setting our bouquet on, whether it's a decanter or a wine bottle or whatever it is. It just needs to have something with just a little bit of weight to it so when you put your bouquet on there, it doesn't tip it over. And now we're going to go ahead and add in another ranunculus here on the side. And again, I just held that up there first to make sure that was exactly where I wanted it to be. And putting a nice amount of glue on here. And this will be our second ranunculus that we have added in to our bouquet now. And sorry about that. Again, I am not used to doing this in front of a camera as far as making my bouquets. 
So I have a tendency to kind of want to pick my bouquet up and put it in, and I forget that. I'm trying to be able to show you each step of the way. So forgive me if I'm out of camera range for just a couple of these while I'm doing them. And now we're going to add in a little bit more of our greenery here. Now, I really like this type of greenery because it's going to add that touch of whimsy. When you have some greenery that just has some movement to it, that kind of adds in that wispy feel to it and that little bit more of a whimsical feel to it. And that is definitely the way a lot of the bouquets are going nowadays. They want to have a little bit of movement to them. They're not quite as formal as what they used to be years ago where everything was very compact and there wasn't a lot of movement in your bouquets. Now this isn't as whimsical and doesn't have as much motion to it is what like more of a boho type bouquet would have where you would have a lot of movement a lot of this whimsy all over we're doing some but we're not doing an exaggerated amount now we're going to take some of these smaller pieces and to begin with i'm just going to kind of tuck them in where i Think that I might want them. Now you can see these aren't actually being hot glued in yet. I'm just kind of setting them in here to see how that's going to look because we want some of that movement, some of that whimsy throughout our bouquet. We don't want that just on the part that's hanging down. We want that also through the center of our bouquet. Now, I hope this is encouraging you guys to realize that it's really not that hard to make a bouquet and you can save yourself just a ton of money being able to do it yourself. And again, I'm just going to kind of set this in here and I am making sure like, okay, if this is where I want it, is it going to be long enough? Am I going to have to make it longer? Do I need it shorter? I'm taking all that in while I'm doing this. Now on the part that cascades, I want to make sure I use part or use pieces that are pretty long to fit in those areas. Save your shorter pieces for up on top. Now, as you're looking at it sideways here, see how that has a nice rounded curve all the way from the top down to the bottom that is not a flat line. It's a nice rounded curved line to it. And that's gonna make your bouquet just look so much prettier. It's not gonna be flat and boring. Now you can see we're getting ready to add in some more of our greenery here on the side. And again, I'm just kind of holding to see if it's gonna look good there. And I can just kind of tuck it in and say, okay, how is this looking? And then if I like it, I can go ahead and pull that out. And then we can go ahead and actually hot glue it in. And I'm liking where that is. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut this down a little bit and then hot glue it and actually fit that in permanently. And we just went ahead and put that in permanently there. Now you can see it is coming along really great. I'm loving the way it's looking so far. And now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with some of these little pieces that were sticking up that were a little bit whimsical and flirty sticking out. I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to attach these. I'm cutting off one of these little stems from our bouquet, from our original bouquet. Now you can see this little piece does not have anything that can be put onto that stem. 
So what we're going to do is we are just going to go ahead and hot glue it to our stem. Now, what you could do, if you wanted to, you can see there's nothing there that we can poke onto the stem. So I'm just going to hot glue it to the stem just like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut off those couple of bottom leaves there and wrap that with floral wire or with some floral tape and that would make that even more sturdy but for this project i don't see anybody pulling on these so i think that the hot glue should hold it just fine and having it on that little stem we can push that stem right down into our styrofoam and make it so easy. And now we can use all these little pieces that you may not have thought that we'd be able to use like that. And you can see again, we're just adding our hot glue to our stem. And now we're going to put our floral piece right up against it here and Give it a second to actually adhere. Trying to get it in focus here. But you guys can see what I'm doing there. I'm making sure that it's hot glued nice and tight on there. And then I just went ahead and added it right in. And I'm going to do that with a bunch of these here that I just had. And I'm skipping ahead just a little bit because you know what I'm doing. So I don't need to show you each one of these. I'm doing the exact same thing everywhere where I had just had these kind of set in there. And now let me show you a close up of how this is looking now that these are all hot glued in. And let me show you against the white wall. You can kind of get a feel for how we are doing so far. It's coming along pretty good. We're not done, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea about what it was looking like so far and against a white wall where you could see it a little easier. Now we're just going to go ahead and add in a few of these extra leaves. And again, these are just the extra leaves from our peony and our rose bushes that we purchased. And here, once again, we're just hot gluing some of these leaves onto our little stick here that we cut off and then taking and wiping the hot glue off that was excess. And again, I'm sorry, once in a while, I forget that I'm filming and I lift our bouquet up and Go put something in and I forget to show you. So I'm sorry about that. And here you can see it's all looking so pretty. I'm loving the way this is looking. And you can see how easy this is. There really is no wrong way of doing this. And now we're ready to add in some of these pearlized beads. And we're going to do the exact same thing. I cut these all apart from each other. And then I'm hot gluing them onto some more of our little wired sticks. And then we're just going to go ahead and tuck it into our bouquet, just like what we did all of our regular greenery pieces. And you can see this first one I added right here in the front. And now here's a little bit longer one. And we are going to tuck that one right here at the top. And then once you get them tucked in, you can just go ahead and spread them out or just kind of tweak them as you see fit. These are kind of an off-white pearlized color and they're so pretty. Those little stem pieces just slide right into our foam so easy. Now here is a nice long one and 
You can see again, I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. Now we're going to add our hot glue in. And now this one I'm going to add down into the length of our cascade. Down towards the lowest part. And we're going to just put it in going upside down, just like what we did for all of our others, pushing it up through the bottom. And again, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little out of camera here. Let me bring this in. Hopefully you can still see where I added that right down there at the bottom, right next to our peony. And now we're just adding some of these leaves in the center part as well, because we don't want the leaves just along the outside rim or edge of our bouquet. We want some of these coming in through the center as well. And so we're going to just look at that one more time. And I'm pretty sure now that that is exactly where I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that one down in there. And you can see that was just a real small little bunch of our pearlized beads right there. And now you can see that we're starting to get more of some movement to everything and a little bit of that whimsy to it. You can see when I touch the bouquet how it just kind of shakes and moves a little bit. And that's exactly what we want. It just gives it some real character and feel to it and just kind of makes it feel a little bit more alive. I'm loving the way this looks. And now we can go ahead and add in a little bit more over on this side. Now this one, we just went ahead and hot glued some of our beads onto the top of one of our stems and added it in. And here it is straight on from the front. I'm loving that. We are almost done here. Just want to add in a few more of these. Right up here. And just when you're looking, just look to see where there's a spot where there's maybe just kind of a bald spot or where it looks a little empty or where your eye kind of looks because it looks a little plain. Any, anywhere where you kind of get that kind of feeling like, oh, it's really pretty over here, but it's a little plain over here. Or it's a little empty over here. If you get that feeling anywhere on your bouquets while you're making it, then you know that that's where you need to still add something. Now you can see it's the next day and I'm ready to finish up our bouquet. I'm taking all these stems that still had some of these leaves on it. These are some of our sunflower stems here. And I'm just gonna remove all the leaves, set these stems off to the side. And now where these leaves come together, this is the part right here where this fits onto the stem and I'm gonna cut that off. So each of our leaves are individual and they cannot just slip onto the stem anymore because I'm cutting off the little whole part that slips over the stem. And you can see here, I'm just doing that with each of these and then I'm putting these leaves in a pile. One thing that is important is the leaves that are flatter are the better leaves to use for this portion that we're going to be doing. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. You can see here how I'm just cutting off just this part that would slip onto one of the stems that has a little hole in it. I'm just cutting that off and I'm just leaving the leaves themselves. Now that I have all those, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bouquet and I'm gonna turn it backwards. And now you see that we just had this big kind of ugly white part here. 
what we're going to do is we're going to take our leaves just like this and we're going to hot glue our leaf onto the back of our bouquet holder and we're just going to hot glue this right here to the back of our bouquet holder and just kind of hold it down for a second and now we're going to put a bead of glue right on the top and we're going to tuck one more bead of glue right underneath that now this leaf you can see it's not as flat as the first one so this one i kind of need to hold down a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and add another one in there and we're just going to do this all the way around our bouquet holder so that we can completely cover up this white plastic Now, don't worry if they're still popping up a little bit like this. By the time we're all done, none of it will be popped up and it will lay nice and flat. Now, we're just going to kind of hold it here for just a second. Now, I probably should have held it even more, but that's okay. We're going to just work our way all the way around and then I'll go back through and anything that's still sticking up, I will hot glue it down again. And you can see we're just putting a drop of glue on the top and the bottom of the leaf that's already attached and then adding our next leaf in. Just like that, and we're just working our way all the way around our bouquet holder. And you can see already just by that how much prettier that looks from the back side because your bride wants to see something that's beautiful from all sides. She doesn't want to see just this plain, kind of not real pretty looking plastic piece facing her either. Now here's a nice flat one and here's like one that is bent and kind of curled and you can see why the flatter ones work better here because when you go ahead and hot glue them on it's just easier for the flat ones to lay flat on there where the ones that are curled just take a little bit more holding them down with the hot glue. Now we can go ahead and add this one in and we're, we've got this almost all the way around now. Just a couple more of our leaves here. Now I did all this with Hobby Lobby flowers. You can do this very, very inexpensively with Dollar Tree flowers or with flowers from the thrift store. That is completely up to you. I did this with Hobby Lobby flowers because they were just, they were beautiful flowers. And this was something that I was making for my niece for her wedding. So I wanted to use the best, but if you're on a tight budget, certainly use some of the Dollar Tree florals. Now here you can see what it looks like from the back side now and doesn't that look so much better it's so pretty and it's so much nicer looking than just that big white plastic piece now you can see i have this burlap ribbon and i got this ribbon this was actually in my michael's grab bag and so i'm going to use it for this this is beautiful ribbon but i don't want this wire in this ribbon. So I'm removing the wire and it just pulls out so easy. And now all I'm gonna do is where they begin this ribbon with the fold, I'm gonna just keep the fold there and I'm going to press it right to the back of our handle. And I'm letting that lace cover the bottom edge of our leaves there. And now once we have this top part glued on and it's covering the bottom of our leaves, we're just going to add a little bit more hot glue to the bottom portion of where our 
ribbon is going to be attached on there just to make that a little bit more stable. See how I'm just folding that? That's just going to give a little extra cushion there for the bride to hold on to because she'll be holding it for the most part up here at the very top. So that's just going to give her a little bit extra cushion. And now we are just going to wrap this ribbon all the way around going right down to the very bottom of our handle. And we're just going and keeping that lace. We're going one row, then the other, just keeping that lace showing all the way down. Just like this. And again, I'll show you a better picture of that in just a second here, but you can see how it just shows that lace going right down. And now all we're going to do is we are going to hot glue this back part. We're going to fold that over so we don't have a raw edge. We're going to fold it and then we're going to hot glue that right on there. And that wire and the other ribbon is kind of getting caught up in my bouquet here. Let me get this hot glued down here and then I will show you a close up of this. Now we're just pulling that nice and tight and folding it over just like that. And now we're just gonna hold that nice and tight for a second. And then the very bottom part, all we're gonna do with the very bottom is fold that going up and we're gonna hot glue that as well. Just like this. And now let me show you, here's a close up and you can see how pretty that looks with the lace coming down. And then we had the burlap and you can see the leaves that looks so much better than when you just saw this big white part on the back. It just gives it a real finished look. And here is our bouquet. It's looking gorgeous. Let me show you, uh, snapshot here and here is our cascading sunflower and roses bouquet once it is all done i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time i upload a video thanks so much for watching